Hello everyone, welcome to Monty Excel, Excel in Life. Wherever you are in this world, we speak one language that is Microsoft Excel. All right, imagine yourself, you're working on a massive Excel workbook and you're constantly finding yourself losing track of which cell you are currently in. Well, worry no more. I'm about to share a technique that will have you navigate with confidence and accuracy. So there are two steps which we are going to follow in order to highlight active cell with the cursor. Whenever any cell is selected, you want to highlight with some color, with some certain formatting. So to, to, to achieve this, we need to use a two-step method here. Step one, we are going to apply conditional formatting. Step two, we are going to write a piece of code in Visual Basic Editor, nothing but macros. To apply the conditional formatting, select the entire data set, go to the home button and select your as a new rule. Once you select, there are so many options available here, but unfortunately, there is no built-in function which is available which can highlight a cell, row or column. So we need to write a formula here. So what formula we are going to write here? As it is a combination of row and a column which is going to highlight a cell, we need to use AND. And also use a column and also a row as the intersection is going to be a cell. So let's try it. A formula here that is and operator then I'm going to say column within opening and closing parentheses equals to cell then within double quotes use column as a parameter then use row then open and closing parentheses as it doesn't have any uh, parameter here equal to cell within open and closing parentheses we are going to use within the double quotes that is a row that's it we have done the job now let me close this the last parameter closing parentheses now as you can see my my entire my entire formula is now i want to format this by using any of the colors. So for that, let me go for a green color and italic. I want to change the color into white and say OK and say OK. Here we go. Now once you see, once you say OK, you can see the color is really applied, but really the still the job is not completed. You can see whenever I'm selecting Michael here, the cell is not selected. When I'm selecting Chicago, it is not happening. So overall, it is not working because we have just crossed the step one. So what is the step two? Step two, we are going to use a Visual Basic code. So in order to write your VBA code, we can access that editor by going to developer tab. That is click on a Visual Basic or right click on the tab. You can click on view code or else we can use again a shortcut key that is Alt F11. So once you click on Alt F11, this is what the editor we are going to see where you're going to write Visual Basic code. So I'm selecting a procedure called worksheet selection change. So whenever there is a change, I want the target cell should be automatically calculated. That's it. This is a single line of code which you are going to write in the VBA editor to achieve this. Once you say close and click on anywhere, let's click on Robert. It's working. When you click on $75,000, it's working. So it's working perfectly by the second method that is using VBA code, which you are trying to bring a dynamism. Though you applied the conditional formatting, we need a VBA code behind the scenes. If you find this video informative, then click on like button and make sure to subscribe to Monty Excel. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.